Next, let's talk about how to perform dimensionality reduction using SVD or singular value decomposition. So what's SVD? SVD tries to decompose an input matrix A into three matrices, U, Sigma, and V. Now let's say that the input matrix is of size N by N. And for example, it can represent N documents with N terms or N words in the vocabulary. And as a concrete example, it can be a, for example, three by four matrix representing three documents. And the first document has word one and word two. The second document is the same as the first one. And the third document has word three and word four. And in this case, the matrix U, which is the left singular matrix, is of size M by R, representing M documents and R concepts. Note that usually R is much, much smaller than M. And in the case of documents, we can have like concepts like sports, politics, science, etc. And if a document is strongly related to a concept, the corresponding entry will be very large. And the third matrix is the sigma, which represents the strength of each concept globally. And note that here R is exactly the rank of the matrix A. And V, which is the right singular matrix, is a N by R matrix representing N terms and R concepts. And similar to U, if a term is strongly related to a concept, the corresponding entry will be very large. And graphically, SVD decomposes the input matrix A into U, Sigma, and V here. And in this example, we show it as R equals to two. And we can see that the U actually has two columns and each column represents one concept and sigma has, is actually a diagonal matrix. And each of these two entries represents the strength of the concept globally. Or equivalently, you can see it as the sum of two products, or more, more particularly the sum of two outer products. And the first outer product would be the product of the first column of U multiplied by the first entry of sigma multiplied by the first row of V transpose. And similarly, the second term here will be just the second column of U multiplied by the second element of sigma multiplied by the second row of V transpose. And we have this uniqueness theorem of SVD saying that it's always possible to decompose a real matrix A into the product of U, Sigma, and V transpose, where this U, Sigma, and V are actually unique, meaning that we have only one solution. And U and V must be column orthonormal. And here orthonormal formally means the product of u transpose and u are actually equal to the identity matrix and so is the product of v transpose and v and intuitively it means that the columns of u and v must be orthogonal unique vectors and more concretely if we take um if we take u as an example orthogonal means that the inner product of any two different columns of U, for example, U1 and U2, which represents these two columns, the inner product of these two must be zero, and this is orthogonal. And unique vector simply means that the inner product between a column and itself is equal to one. And the third property is that, of course, the sigma must be diagonal. And the entries of this diagonal matrix must be positive. And these entries are actually sorted in decreasing order. 
let's take a look at an example where A is actually the users to movies uh, matrix. And more concretely, let's say that we have one, two, three, four, five, seven users, and we have five movies, and each row here represents one user's ratings for the five movies. For example, the first movie, oh, sorry, the first user rate the first three movies one, and for the second user similarly rate the first three movies with ratings three, et cetera, et cetera. And we want to decompose these input metrics, this input users to movies metrics into three matrices, U, sigma, and D transpose. And hopefully we want to discover the concepts inside these movies. For example, if you can look at this matrix more carefully, you can see that the first four users actually, they all watch the first three movies, which are actually sci-fi movies. And the last three users, they all are very interested in the last two movies, which are romance movies. So ideally, after we perform this S3D, we want, for example, the first column to represent the concept of sci-fi. and We want the second column to represent the concept of romance or romance movie. And remember that we say that the SVD can help us to discover concepts. And, and here, this sci-fi and romance are the concepts we want to discover. So this is what happens if we perform SVD on this input matrix and we set the R to three. And this is the U, this is sigma, and this is the V transpose. And concretely, we can see that in this U matrix, remember each row of the U matrix actually represents one user. So we have seven users and each column of this matrix represents one concept. So we can see that the first four users, they all have relatively high score in the, in the sci-fi concept, but they all have relatively low score in the romance concept. So basically you can see this matrix U as a user to concept similarity matrix. Now let's turn our attention to the middle matrix, which is the sigma here. And we can see that the first entry here represents actually the strength of the sci-fi concept, which is pretty high. And we can also see the second element here, it represents the concept of Roman's movie, which is also relatively high. And the third concept is actually a very low number that represents something that can be simply ignored. As we can see here, we have only two concepts here. And for the V, which is the movie to concept similarity matrix, remember here each row represents one concept and each column represents one movie. And naturally we can see that the first three movies, they all have relatively high score in the sci-fi concept, right? But they have relatively low score in the romance concept. So to summarize, in this movie's user's concept example, we can actually interpret the matrix U as a, as a user to concept similarity matrix. And we can in, interpret the matrix V as a movie to concept similarity matrix. And the sigma, its diagonal, match, its diagonal elements can be interpreted as the strength of each concept.